Hey guys, what's up? I hope everyone is having an amazing Sunday. Um, I am about um, six days out of surgery. I had surgery on Monday, if I can add right, that's like six days. So Monday I had my cornea transplant this past Monday, actually the 31st. So my New Year's turn up was literally in the hospital. I uh, had my cornea transplant. Everything has been going really well. Um, it's not for anybody that's preparing to have a surgery. Just make sure you're prepared to have a surgery because me, like when I got done with surgery, of course I was still out of it. Uh, the medication, um, oh my God, that puts you to sleep. I can't think God. It had me real fatigued and real sleepy and real, like just real sick to the nauseated and like sick to the stomach. Um, so literally I came home after surgery, literally got in bed and slept. Uh, I actually slept for like two days. The day after my surgery as well, which was Tuesday, I stayed in bed the entire day. I didn't have an appetite. I didn't want to eat. I didn't want to be bothered. I was real like grumpy. I was like so, I was grumpy, y'all. I had to apologize to my mom and my sister. But um, what I will say is to just make sure that you're prepared to have the surgery. If you have family, make sure your family is active where they can help you or you have kids, someone to watch out for your kids. Uh, for me, I have no family. I have not a relationship. So my mom, I don't stay, I don't live where I grew up at. Uh, so my mom came into town to take care of me. And then my, also my, my sister lives here as well that lives like literally right around the corner. So she came over. Uh, and so they've been cooking for me, like cleaning, washing my clothes. I've been really feeling like the man when I walk through, you know, like I could get used to this for free, not paying them anything. <laughs> so I will say I won't show my eye yet because it's a little like, oh, my God, bleh, still. But I will say uh, and I still cannot see out of my eye, which is normal um, after your cornea transplant. Um I would say the most irritating thing about the cornea transplant is actually being able to physically feel the stitches. I think a lot of people have that's been through it because I looked at other videos as well prior to going for my cornea transplant. Like I'm getting ready to move at the end of this month. So I knew that lifting and all of that stuff was gonna be limited. So I already started I had pre-packed, started packing stuff that was already like high up that I need to pull down. Um, so, and with my mom being very Southern, a very Southern lady, um, you know, she cooked like four course Southern style meals. She washed, she cleans up. Um, that was so off subject what I was talking about, right? It was. Um, so, so for me, the, the most irritating piece is feeling the, the stitches when you're like blinking. Um, I... The first, second, and third day, I I have not been in pain to where it's like, oh my God, I can't deal with it. But I've been in pain where I like was literally like go in the cabinet and find me something. And I had some extra, extra strength Tylenol that I take and just knock the pain out. So for me, it wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be based off other people's videos. Uh, what I can tell now is that it is in the process of healing because like the first two, three days, like my eyes were not sensitive to light at all. And it's like now it's so sensitive to light. Um, that's why I have a patch on to cover. It. And I talked to my doctor. She's like, yeah, you know, we went over all that, but you was kind of in and out of it after in recovery. Um, the amnesia, that's the word. Uh, no, that's not amnesia. Oh my God, I can't think of the word. What is it called that they inject into your IV and they put you to sleep? Anesthesia, okay, yeah. So, ah, so I'll be posting more videos, guys, um, with my process. Um, I did try to drive, like, I had surgery Monday and I tried to drive on Thursday and I literally had to pull up on the tollway and call and was like, come get me because I could not drive. It was horrible. And it was, I have never been that scared in my life. Like I wanted something so bad that I was feeling it. And my mom had ran to the store and she was gone as longer than she was supposed to. Then my sister is a stay at home mom. So she was busy with the kids. So I didn't want to bother her. And then my friends all at work. And I was like, okay, this place is literally like 10 minutes up the toll. I can get there and get back surely. And eh, eh, cutthroat did not work. Um, so just be mindful. Follow the doctor's orders. I catch myself every now and then like bending and all that stuff. My mom is like, you hard head makes a soft ass. Um, so I go for my, I 
to go for my third follow up on Tuesday. Um, and then that'll let me know what I can start back doing. I, I, I originally took off until February. The first week of February is my projected return date. Uh, so I'm really sticking to that. And I think I'll be able to go back if my eyes are not sensitive to light as much as they are now. I plan to go back. Um, but all I can, I can tell you about the surgery is just once again, be prepared. If you are afraid, don't be. I was because I've never been put, put to sleep before. Uh, but literally, I remember them coming in, prepping me. Uh, they delayed my surgery like twice because they were like behind. And then they came in and got me. Say, Mr. Sloan, we ready. They came in and got me. They rolled me to the back. And I remember going in this operating room. And the first time in my life, I've seen them in the movies. You know how the operating rooms look in the movies? Like, that's exactly how it looks in real life. And I go in the operating room, and the guy's like just talking to me. He's like, oh, we're finna give you something that's going to make you feel really good. And I'm like, oh, oh. And so the guy's just talking to me. And the last thing I remember is literally telling the nurse or whoever, whatever they're calling the room, uh, that I was cold. And I don't remember even remember the word cold coming out. I just remember saying, um, and then I was gone. And then when I woke up, I could not remember anything, which they told me that was a side effect. I didn't remember anything. I know I slept really good. But I'm posting more videos, so whoever is going through or getting, if you're in it or you're preparing for it, listen, I will say this. Trust the process. Do not be afraid. It is a true process. For me, the healing process in general takes about a complete year to be completely healed. Um, my doctor said, you know, your vision should start correcting uh, within like a month or two, possibly. Uh, but the stitches will be in my eye for about six months, so be prepared for that. But like I said, the most uh, irritating part is I can feel the stitches when I blink or I'm always, you have to be careful. So I actually wear glasses now too as well. So you have to be careful. So I actually either have this on around the house. Uh, not, uh, um, if I'm irritated like I am now, or I sleep in this and this just so I won't rub my eye or something while I'm asleep or, you know, turn over and like the softest things can mess up the process, right? So, for instance, you know, land, falling down on your bed or laying down on your bed and your pillowcase like swiping your eye wouldn't bother a regular, a regular person. Um, someone who has not had a corneal transplant, but it would mess, it would bother your um, healing process. So, I sleep with this. Um, and then if I go out, I try to go out, I'll put a low head on. All of my glasses are tinted. Um, so I'll put those on. And so I'm real like, oh, no, no pictures, please. Like, I'm real like, I got paparazzi, so I'm trying to hide myself. No one's checking for me, though. Apparently not, I'm single. Anyway, so I'm posting more videos. Oh, and nothing for the men, for the men. It's nowhere written in the paperwork, but my doctor like strongly suggested that I did not get a haircut. So I did not get a haircut uh, on Friday. I go every Friday. I didn't get a haircut on Friday and it's killing me. And the reason is, you know, um, when we get our haircuts, our, our barbers now, they're so fancy dancing. They use blowers now and they cut and, you know, hair can fall. Anything can happen. Even if you have like this on, you know, if they're cutting your hair and hair falls here but when you take this off then hair falls in your eye or anything so she like highly recommended that I didn't get a haircut for like two weeks however I can't go two weeks with I cannot go two weeks without a haircut so just for the men or you know whoever however you do if you're shaving or whatever you're doing just make sure that you're as groomed as you possibly can for me I had a fresh cut I had got my hair cut I had got oh my god look at that English I got my hair cut uh, the Saturday before my surgery, but of course my hair grows really fast. This is what it looks a week later, and of course I got to wait till next Friday to get it cut, or Friday coming to get it cut. So uh, I'll post more videos, guys. I have my second appointment on this Tuesday, and I'll be posting more videos. Um, but I will, I would highly recommend if you need to have a cornea transplant, do it. Do not be afraid. It is not painful for me. It has not been a uh, painful where I could not deal with it. I don't like medication and feeling like I don't have control of my body anyway. Um, so even if I was prescribed some type of pain medication, I probably would have not taken it anyway. Um, 
Although my doctor said, you know, pain meds are just operate different for the eye in general. So she's like, I, you know, I, she actually wrote me a prescription for pain meds, but I actually, I didn't even pick it up because I was like, hmm, I'll be okay, you know. Um, so, yeah. So if you guys have any questions or anything that you would like to ask me about the procedure, about the surgery, about anything about it, feel free to... Um, Leave comments and I will respond as they come in. So I'll talk to you guys on Tuesday. Remember this also. Trust your process, okay? That's in anything in life. I say that my walk of life. And if you want to know, I actually got my... I actually got in this situation because I got a contact infection. Uh, I got a contact bacteria infection back in June of last year, which led it to me having to have a cornea transplant. So if y'all have any other questions about how I got the bacterial infection, uh, how the process looked as healing, where I am now, what's the process and all that stuff. Any questions, just feel free to ask me. Have a good day.